Wow, the old Spychance review suddenly got really popular. You know what does that mean? It's sequel time! So, hi guys, Silver here. And welcome in the second part of Transformers Re-2001 Spy Changers review. This time I will look at the new mold Spy Changers, which included x Brom, Optimus Prime, Ultra Magnus and Scourge. So, Spy Changers. I already mentioned that the main team consisted of small ninja-like robots that were always ready to help the other Autobots when Predacons attacked. But I forgot to mention that in the different universe, all Autobots needed to downsize to save on fuel, since Skybite poisoned all of Earth's energy on reserves. Scourge also became a spy changer, but the singular con wasn't a match for all the other 13 spy changers. As I mentioned earlier, all of those spy changers were new molds. First, we have Optimus Prime. This version is a downsize of the Super Class Prime's Super Mode. Most of the figure is casted in red plastic with many paint details like blue gloves, silver legs, yellow Autobot badge on the chest and even chromed wheels. She is only missing a few paint details to look like the full size fig, like some painted details on her helmet. Uh, what? what? Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this Optimus Prime is female. Many people know her mostly in her yellow appearance, which she got later after she got kidnapped by Unicron. But originally she was red, just like the male main universe Optimus Prime. Optimus can move her arms, rotate her head, split her legs for some awesome kicks. Also, you can rotate her backpack so she can use the backpack cannon, but that only if you can make her stand with that. Sadly, since the backpack is so big, you need to use the ladder as some sort of third leg. Now, let's look at Optimus's brother, Ultra Magnus. Magnus is also a simplified, smaller version of his bigger toy. He even has the same proportions, which I like to call small buff dude standing on a pair of boxes. Magnus has some pretty nice articulation. His head can rotate, arms can move forward and backwards, legs can move side to side, and a lot. Like, those are some Van Damme level splits. Sadly, since there isn't any Spy Changer Omega Prime, let's go straight into x Brown and Scourge. I'm talking about them together since they were sold as a two-pack. Let's start with the adventure-loving brother, x Brown. I can say that, as much as I like this character and the deluxe toy, this is my least liked new mold Spy Changer. He has nicely painted details on his chest, and legs. I really like that they kept the inner wheel design that the deluxe figure has, even though you can still see the wheels on the side. I can also say that I really like bronze articulation. His right arm can move up and down and also bend in the elbow and also bend in the shoulder, while his left arm can rotate, hinge in the shoulder and hinge in the elbow. This articulation lets him pull off some punching poses. My only issue is that his head is molded in with the torso and his left hand is so big that if you don't pose it right, he will always fall down. Now let's move on to Scourge. He is also a new mold and it's 100% downsized version of the deluxe toy. Only difference is that the toy doesn't have the sword. Maybe I can give Scourge a neon pink toothpick? Wait a second. If this universe Optimus is female, this Scourge is also female since, as we remember, Scourge was born from a protoform that scanned an oil tanker on Optimus. Wait, so does that mean I finally got the mythical giant robot goth girlfriend? Wait, it, wait I need to do something. Whew, the uncensored version will be on her OnlyFans. Okay, so those are the new mold Spy Changers robot modes. Now let's compare Spy Changers with One Step Bumblebee, Siege Covert Clone Sideswipe, and my boy Magazine Bumblebee. Now let's get into the old modes. Optimus and Magnus transformations are very similar, 
legs combine, arms move inside, hood covers the head, and shorten the legs. Only difference is that Magnus has two wings panels that swing down, while Prime need to adjust her ladder. Brown transforms really interestingly. His right arm curls up while his giant bumper arm covers up his head. Brown transforms really interestingly. His right arm curls up while his giant bumper arm covers up his head. Legs are shortened again, and then you close up the door panels. And finally, Scourge! Probably has the most simplistic transformation. Head goes down, arms close up, and the legs again get short. So, here we have the alt modes. Japanese Hino Brandlier Fire Truck for Optimus, a fictional car carrier which sadly, due to scale, can't carry any cars, for Magnus, Mercedes Benz SUV for x brown and a Black Western Star Truck for Miss Skirt. I really like Prime's details, she has a lot of those bolted floor molded into the alt mode, she can rotate her ladder, and she can extend it a little. This mod has six wheels, two are molded, and while the rest are mounted on axles, which lets Prime move really fast. No joke, as I was writing the script, I sometimes roll the wheels, just listen to the satisfying... <sighs> just listen to it, isn't it great? Magnus's alt mode feels like a brick on wheels. It feels like a piece of a really nicely shaped rock. My only issue with this alt mode is that, for some reason, he has a yellow outboard symbol, while the original toy has it in red. But at least I can congratulate the designers for removing parts forming that was presented in the big version. This Magnus also has two real wheels, two painted wheels, and four wheels that are molded in, but not painted. Now we have brown. With those two panels that are used as a part of his transformation, you can kinda pretend he has open wood doors. But other than that, he looks really nice with this lovely grey to green fade. And finally we have Scourge. She looks just like a miniaturized version of the American toy, alongside the inaccurate red windows and a giant Decepticon symbol on the front. Now let's compare them again with once the Bumblebee, Siege Covert Sideswipe, and my boy Magazine Bumblebee. Okay, let's get them back into the robot mode for my final thoughts. And I like them. They are okay. I don't know why, but them having a 100% show accurate modes kind of takes away from how weird and janky the OG Spy Changers were. But I still like them. They look good as a group. Also, we should thank the storyline for introducing us to our first fanbot Optimus and Scourge. Now, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out all my social media and don't forget, Spy Changer's Scourge feed pics available at her OnlyFans only for $5 a month. What are you doing here? Again? Oh yeah, this is the 300 subs milestone. I want to thank all of you for sticking with me. I especially waited just to get Scourge, so I can review them in bulk, as kind of like a sequel, the first original review. Maybe one day I will redo the review or Season 0 series, but, but that's for future. So yeah, thank you all for watching, I want to thank you for sticking with me, and I want to see you all in my next review. Bye!